What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. If you are new to this channel, I am Brandon from Tattooing 101 and make sure you're liking and subscribing down below so you can keep up to date on all the new content we come out with each week. Today I'm going to be reviewing the CNC P6. I'm really pumped about this machine. It is an adjustable stroke, um, which is super cool. I'm going to check it out, see how good it works so you guys could know if it's a good choice for you or not. Okay, so this will be the first time turning on this machine. I just got it today. I have not turned it on at all. So this will be the first time running this machine at eight volts. Helps if you put it in the right jack. I'll remember that for next time. So that's it running. I will say that it's very, very quiet. I was expecting it to be, you know, a lot louder. It's almost as quiet or as quiet as my Cheyenne Soul Nova Unlimited, which obviously that machine is way more expensive as this one. So it's awesome to see, um, you know, how quiet it is. That was uh, something that I wasn't expecting at all. So let's get a cartridge in here and see how it sounds. Since we are starting to set up and using cartridges, you gotta make sure that you're gloving up. Okay, so right off the bat, I can feel that it's really, really tight getting that cartridge in there. So that's one thing that you wanna make sure is your cartridge is going in the whole way. Um, and these are cartridges I use all of the time. Yeah, so it is, it is very, very tight in there. So that's one thing that you're going to want to watch out for if you are using this machine is like, make sure that your cartridges are going in the whole way so they don't just fly out when you're tattooing. No one likes that to happen. Cool. Yeah, so it's still very, very quiet. So that's just about how I'll tattoo, how much I would have my needle hang out. Um, and I'll say it feels really good. It's not super loud. Um, and this is also on the three stroke. So let's try it out on a four. That's what I usually would use if I'm tattooing like, you know, my new traditional or traditional style tattoo. I really like a longer stroke. Um, I'd use a three for more like black and gray and almost realism, things like that, or really, really tiny groupings of needles. So let's uh, turn this off and get it up to the four stroke, see how it works. Okay. So we are officially at four strokes. Um, just by turning that little knob, it was super easy. Um, I'm sure that you could do it in the middle of a tattoo if you wanted to, so let's check it out. Wow. Noticeably different when it comes to the stroke on the four stroke, which is super cool. Um, I wasn't sure how just turning this knob would affect, you know, and actually make it work, but you could clearly tell that the stroke is definitely way bigger as soon as I turn that knob. So that's super cool. It's instantly changes to a four stroke, which, you know, I'm used to using my injecta or, you know, something like that to where either you can't change them or you have to tear apart your machine and replace some parts in order to get it to change different strokes, which this is super cool. Um, I have a feeling I'm really going to like this machine, but before we say that, let's get into actually trying to tattoo with it and see what happens. Also, another thing, if you are ordering from CNC, make sure you are getting their bags to cover their pen machines. You don't want to be just tattooing with it like this. You want to make sure that you are wrapping it up. And all you have to do to wrap it up is just take a bag out, put it through here. Okay, so that's one thing that's really good to know. Um, these pen bag machines will not fit over this CNC machine, which is the P6. So if you are getting these bags, it's not going to fit over this little ridge where it's adjustable. You'll only be able to wrap the bottom, which I wouldn't necessarily like. So I'm going to use my Cheyenne pen bags. They are a little bit bigger. I believe that they're two inches instead of the one inch bags for other machines. So they should work perfect for this, but definitely recommend picking those bags up if you are wanting to get this machine. Yeah, so the Cheyenne bag goes perfectly over there. No problems at all. So make sure you're getting the two inch. They'll fit over this machine without any issues. Then all you got to do from there is get some wrap and just wrap the top of this machine up. This just helps your hand not have to deal with all the vibrations and things like that. And also makes it a little bit easier for you to grip onto as you're tattooing. So now that it's ready to be tattooed, I'm going to set up my station and I'll see you guys in just a few seconds. Okay, let's get into trying out the CNC P6. What I'm going to be using is an eight round liner standard. Then I'm also going to try out some 11 curved mags and some 25 curved mags. I'm just curious to see if it'll push a really big mag. So we'll start out with our line work. 
I'm going to start out to the side. I want to get a feel for this. I've never used this machine before in my life. So trying to understand exactly how it runs to make sure, you know, I could do the tattoo exactly how I normally would, which would be great for you guys to know. So I have my needle hanging out. I don't run on the tube, I run on the tip. So I have my needle hanging out quite a bit. Let's get started with our first line. I will say before I even start, I can definitely feel the vibrations in my hand. That's not something I really feel on my Cheyenne Solnova, but a lot of machines you're going to feel that. It's just something a little bit different. Awesome. So the first line, it didn't seem like it had any issues at all. I'm running on an 8 volt right now. I usually run about a 10. I didn't want to turn it way up just first starting out. I kind of want to get a feel for the machine. So I'm just slowing down my hand speed to compensate for that as well. Yeah, so at least for this eight round liner, it's not having any issues at all put in these lines. So what we're gonna do, we'll work on the teeth and then I'm gonna get a bigger liner out and see how good it does with that. So right now I'm running it on the four stroke. Um, I usually like to run on about a 4 when I'm doing lining. Sometimes I'll go a little bit under, I'll go like a 3.5. But I try to stick around a 4 stroke for lining. Alright, just give me a second and I'll switch over to that bigger liner. So, what I'm using now is going to be an 18 round liner. This is going to be, you know, the biggest liner I really use. And it could be really hard to get a machine to push it. I just want to see if it will push an 18 round liner which there's not many machines out there that do it efficiently enough for me to want to use them. I will say that it is pushing an 18 round liner just fine, which honestly kind of blows my mind a little bit. And I also didn't turn my machine up at all. I'm just running on the exact same eight volts, which usually I definitely have to turn my machine up. So let's turn my machine up a little bit to what I normally would run on, which would be a 10 and see how it works. We'll go 9.5. Now I'll say the vibrations are quite a bit in my hand now that I actually turned it up to what I would normally run it on. Um, but it's still doable, that's why I wrap my machine so I don't feel that really bad. Awesome, so with turning it up I can see that it's definitely running more efficient than it was. Um, running it slower. Yeah, very surprising that it's actually pushing an 18 round liner um, this well. I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, so it feels really good in the hand. Um, I'm not really having an issue holding it or my hand getting tired, but also this is the very beginning as well. But the machine is definitely keeping up with me as I'm going through my lines for sure. Yeah, so I pulled a really long line there just seeing how it would do. And as you could see, 
it's clean the whole way through, which is super surprising. So yeah, this machine's working great for what I'm using it for right now. After the lawn work's done, we'll get into some shading and see how it works with that. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we'll go into the shading. Actually, I got one more line to do right here. All right, now we'll get it cleaned up and go into the shading. All right, so there we have the line work. Obviously on a traditional tattoo, I wouldn't have done different line weights. I just did that to show you guys what this tattoo machine can do. And we'll get on to the shading part. So we're going to focus on the thick shading first. So let's go with that 25 mag and see what it could do. I'm also going to move the stroke down to a three point. Yeah, let's go down to a three. So all I gotta do to do that is move this little golden dial over on the machine. Let's see if I could actually do that with covering the machine so we don't have to take it apart. And it looks like you can, it's obviously just really, um, kind of annoying to do with the plastic on but I did get it there so you can do that with the plastic on it okay so as you can see this is a very big mag it's one of the biggest ones I use unless I'm doing like back pieces things like that um, then I have you know really really big ones so let's turn it on and see how it works awesome so it seems like it's pushing it no problem I'm gonna move my needles back a little bit okay now you can definitely hear with the mag the machine is quite a bit louder. So we'll dip into our black real quick. And let's see what it can do, some whip shading. So I will say that it is pushing this big mag. It's, it's not necessarily doing it how my other machines were that would were specifically set up for being able to push a big mag. So that's one thing. Um, I'm sure that the smaller mag with this machine will be no problem, but I will say that um, you know that's why machines are set up for different things because you could have a does all one machine, but you're always gonna have little inconsistencies with what they could do, um, what they could do better and things like that. So with like bigger mags and like super big lines, you know, I recommend to have a machine specifically made for doing something like that. Unless you're first starting and you're just trying to check something out, then this is where this would come into play. Something with adjustable strokes that you could kind of get used to doing everything. You know, if you are just working on fake skins, things like that, this would definitely be a great machine for that so far. See, it looks like it's doing a great job running on that three stroke, being able to build up layers, you know, really light. Obviously, if this was um, a tattoo I was doing outside of review, you know, everything would be done in pepper shading for this style of tattoo, it being traditional and everything. But I'm just trying to break down everything to show you guys what this machine can do. Okay, see, I really wanted to put this one through the ringer because this is going to be, you know, a really hard one to push, but it seems like it's holding up no issue. You know, it's keeping up with me even though it's a 25 mag, which is a huge mag for sure. Even with this, you know, pepper shaded area in the eyeball, um, it's working perfect. So we'll get done with this other eye and we'll switch over to that 11 mag, see how it does. Which obviously, if this one's working out fine, that one's going to work out great. Okay, so now we are switching over to the 11 mag and we're still running it on that three stroke along with a 9.5 on the voltage. See how it does with packing in some of this area right here. Yeah, it did great.
Yeah, it's working awesome, just like I thought, since it ran that huge one, this one should be no issue at all. So yeah, we pretty much just went through every single shading technique that you will be doing with tattooing, you know, whip shading, pendulum shading, um, we'll try a little feather shading someplace, or brush stroke shading. You know, I'm really starting to get used to this machine. It's a little bit skinnier than my Cheyenne, especially because I have the Soul Nova Unlimited. It's really thick, um, but I'm starting to get a feel for it now, and it feels really good in my hand. Awesome, so this is doing a great job as well. So far, this machine is definitely one that I'll be using in the future, and that means a lot because I have a ton of different machines that I really enjoy. You know, my Injecta is my go-to, my Cheyenne, I really love using it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a machine that I would recommend if you're first starting out. It has that adjustable stroke, which is super cool. Um, it was really easy to do too. All you gotta do is turn that little knob and you're onto a different stroke and you could do a different style of tattooing or you know, use a bigger mag or going from a liner to your shading. You don't have to have two machines set up for that, which is super awesome. Awesome, let's clean this up. The last thing I wanna check out on this review would be color packing. So. Normally when I'm using color, I'm going to be using it as a four stroke. What I'm gonna do, we haven't really gone middle ground yet. So I'm gonna turn it to that 3.5. Let's see if we can blast some color into those eyes and nose with that. So there isn't necessarily a 3.5, but there is a 3.6. So let me go over these real quick. You go from four, which is far right, to 3.8, to 3.6, which would be the middle ground, to 3.3, and then down to the three, talking about the strokes. So now we're on the 3.6 running that 11 mag still, and let's get some color into this tattoo. Start out with the nose. I will say so far, CNC, you have surprised me with this machine. I was not expecting it to be, you know, it's for it to work as good, first of all, and I definitely wasn't expecting it to like it as much as I am when I'm tattooing. So this was a nice little simple traditional tattoo to do to test out this machine and I think it turned out great. I'm super happy with how the tattoo turned out. I'm super happy with how the machine actually ran. So let me get a different angle so I could explain and show you everything I like about this machine and go into it a little bit further. So there we had the review of the CNC P6. Overall, I'm super happy with how the tattoo turned out. This machine has worked great. One thing I wanted to show you guys would be how to disassemble this machine. So all you gotta do is screw this off. And then you get to the O-rings that they sent replacements with the machine. So whenever you are tattooing, one thing you wanna think about, if you are tattooing on fake skins, you can wrap this up no problem, which will be no issue at all. But if you're tattooing on humans, you want to make sure that you have an autoclave to put these in to sterilize them. Just wrapping them up is not safe and also could cause complications with bloodborne pathogens, causing infections, and just really mess someone up. It's a very, very big health risk. So you want to make sure you have an autoclave if you are using these style of machines for actual human clients. Now, one thing I would love for CNC to come out with for their like pen style machines would be actual disposable grips for these. They do have them for the Cheyenne Soul Nova, which is why I bought one, and I use their disposable grips all the time, which are awesome. I still wrap up my machine with the plastic, but I use the disposable grip as well and then just toss it away after the use. So with that, that honestly would be the only downside that I have with this machine is that every time I use this, there are no disposable grips, so I have to use my autoclave to sterilize the grips, which I'm a big fan of disposable. It just makes everything easier for me um, and the shop. So I really like disposable, so that is the only downfall when it comes to the CNC P6. Other than that, it ran great, and I put it through the ringer. You know, I used a 14 round liner, 
which is super hard to get to penetrate the skin. And it did just fine. It made some really thick, clean lines the whole way through, which I was not expecting. Also with that mag, I used a 25 curved mag, which is a monster. Um, you know, other machines could have a hard time pushing that if you're getting these um, cheaper machines and things like that to where they just don't have the power to push something that big. But this one actually did great when it came to that. So if you want to create some awesome tattoos that are clean and do tattoos up to this caliber, you will be able to do this with this CNC machine, no problem.